Okay, here's all my stuff. Here's my Jeep and I've left it in hopefully a safe location and it's got a do not tow sign on it. So hopefully it won't get towed away. It shouldn't. But even though I'm traveling light, this is a lot of stuff. I've got over here my sled, which has my mummy sleeping bag in and a shovel and stuff like that. I'm going to be towing that. Got my snowshoes, my poles, a uh, good pair of uh, mitts, but I've got others as well. Water, and this is all the water I'm bringing. That's it, in an insulated container. If I need any more water, which I will, I'll be getting it from a stream or I'll be melting snow. Not, not too worried about that. And this is oh, my monster backpack. It's got the tent, it's got food, it's got clothes, oh, it's got the zipper open, which is not a good idea. Never leave your zipper open. And it's got solar panels. I'm not sure how well they'll do, but I'm gonna try them anyway. And I've got my little solar light here as well. Packed full of stuff, a little bit of food, a little bit of clothing. Should do me. I'm not going for that long, but just enough to test things out. I haven't done this for a while. It's going to take a little bit to get used to. Well, the trail goes down, so I've got the camera on the sled, but I gotta go backwards with it, so hopefully I don't lose the sled or the camera. Here it goes. This isn't the fun part, believe me. Now it gets fun, because I've got to cross a little stream. It's not really that big a stream. It's just kind of awkward when you're carrying all this stuff on your back and a sled. But here goes nothing. Well, I made it, but it was still awkward. I just wiped out. Uh, it's really hard maneuvering and uh, around the logs 
and everything. I'm okay, but I gotta be careful. Uh, I'm on a, a, a trail right now, but I'm gonna get off the trail. Actually, let me just point in that direction. There. Oh boy. Snow's a little deeper, of course. Gotta maneuver over a log. It's gonna be bumpy. Bump. Oh, who needs a gym? Oh. Oh. This is 10 times more exercise than a gym. Especially, snowshoes don't really keep you on top of the snow. They keep you a few inches below. Just gonna have to do. I think this is going to be the spot. There's a frozen stream right here. Hopefully there's an opening somewhere if I need water or I can use the snow. But I think this area right here is a good spot for the tent. Oh, I'm just going to get this stuff off. Yeah, it's got to be 40, 50 pounds. It wasn't fun carrying. I don't hear any hisses. I think I'm good. Now, oh, sleeping bag. Now the Tent fly insulates, but uh, this one actually has vents as well so that it gets rid of some of the condensation. I do have a little radio. I'm not expecting much with it, but I should at least get an AM station. And uh, I've got clothing down at the at the bottom of the tent. Just a little extra clothing if it gets too cold. And my toque and a few little bits and pieces. Oh, of course, this is my water and it's insulated. So 
hopefully it's not going to freeze. And I made sure the top's on tight so it doesn't leak in the middle of the night. I've actually had that happen before, so I learn from it. Uh, other than that, a few little bits and pieces of, oh, a book to read. This is called uh, Alone Against the North by Adam Schultz. It's a number one Canadian bestseller, if I can get real close in there. Uh, it's a good book on a guy who uh, finds one of the last unexplored rivers in Canada. Uh, and he explores it by himself. I thought that was kind of fitting. I'm not really exploring, but I am enjoying the wilderness, so I thought that would be a good read. Okay, well, it's starting to get dark. I guess I gotta get some food ready. Getting settled. It's taken a while. Yeah, it's not like a trailer. You just pull into a spot, put down some stabilizers, maybe put up a roof and you're good to go. This takes a little bit more work, but I'm getting settled. Got my little stove here on a log. Backpack is there. This is what I got my food in right now. It's uh, mostly packaged stuff, dry goods. Uh, nothing that can smell, nothing that will attract animals, hopefully at least. And if you can see, there's my tent over there. And there's a little bit of a valley with a stream in it. So, and yeah, I don't have the fancy camera equipment. This is all I've got are two action cameras and one I haven't even brought out yet. So I hope that this is going to work. Um, it's a nice day. It's actually not that cold. It's about freezing. It will be getting colder tonight, of course. It's so peaceful. And you can really hardly hear anything. Um, the snow in the trees. I don't even hear a bird. Oh, now I hear a jet, of course. There has to be a jet just to, you know, put you back in reality. There's always a jet somewhere. Oh well. One thing I'm trying for the very first time is this cute little stove. And I've got it balanced on a uh, log I found. Hopefully that's close enough. And I'm going to start off, I'm just going to melt some snow. There's lots of snow around. I'm not going to use up my water because it uh, seems the stream's frozen around here. So, turn it on. Oh, I heard something. Hopefully that's balanced. I don't want to slide off. Hopefully it's going to work. I think it's going to need a little bit more snow though. Oh, there's some. See, no yellow snow. That's not what I'm going to use. There. Whoa! <laughs> the snow just fell off a tree. The neat thing about this pot set that I got is one forms the lid of the other. So you've got a small one which you can use for coffee and you can, you've got a larger pot which you can use uh, for whatever, soups or, or meals, and uh, one's the lid of the other, which is really cool. But the neat thing about this system is that it comes with the uh, stove, you know, the little burner, and one of these 8-ounce canisters of fuel actually fit inside it. So it's this big, but it comes with the fuel and it comes with the, uh, the stove. And uh, it's all in one tiny little package, which is really neat. The water is boiling. So if you can see that or not, boiling water. 
So I can turn this off. Now, open the pouch. And it actually took me a little bit more snow to get the 500 milliliters I needed. Actually, I need about that much snow, to be honest with you. I just let it melt twice. And there's a few nasties in there, but eh, they'll add flavor. I better not burn myself doing it. But you pour that in. Yep, keep keep some of those nasties out at least. And mix it up. Let's see what happened with my lasagna. It's supposed to wait 10 minutes, but that's actually about five. Problem is it's just gonna get too cold. Then I won't be able to eat it anyway. It'll be too cold to eat, so. Let's see what I have. Oh, okay, that's a little mushy. I think that's definitely, yeah, you can't really see it, but I'll show it when it comes up here. Yeah, it's just kind of goo. <laughs> there you go. Um, okay, how does it taste? Um, it's just, it's just kind of goo. I like it because it's keeping my hand warm. That's about it. I wouldn't recommend it. But hey, what do I care? I'm in the middle of nowhere. Oh no, and I dropped the spoon in there. Okay. I gotta eat it while it's hot. I gotta be honest with you. This is kind of gross. Um, yeah, you're supposed to be able to, able to eat it in the pouch. But every time you dip the spoon in the pouch it gets all over the side and it gets all over your fingers it's it's an awful idea but i don't have to do dishes that's the only good thing about it but no this isn't going on my top 10 list well that's about it sun's down it's uh probably about 5:30. Sun went down probably about four o'clock, so it's uh, there's not much light, just enough to to film. But uh, I think that's gonna be it for the night. The snow off my pants, and then I can zip up. Well, one thing this video is not going to do is make anybody excited about winter camping in a small tent because it is very, very cramped in here. I've got my coat off and I've got a, a flannel hoodie in its place. Uh, I've, uh, I'm just in my long underwear. I didn't uh, put anything else. I'm, I'm actually quite warm. It's not cold in here. It's actually, uh, well, I wouldn't say room temperature, but it's not super, super cold. Um, just being in the tent with my own um, body heat is is helped immensely. Outside, it's a lot colder. But in here, at least right now, it's not bad. Got the water. Um, I'm warm. It's kind of cozy. Just not a lot of room. Something you got to get used to. Well, where are those glasses? Here they are. Oh boy. Oh, it's morning. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's frost all over the tent. Even the edges have frost on them. Oh boy. Oh. And 
So, yeah, I'm not a pretty sight. Oh, it's cold. Oh, I gotta get out of here. See, look at the frost. Oh, see that? Oh, nasty. Oh my God. It's so friggin' cold. Ah, I gotta get these gloves on immediately. Oh. Oh boy. Oh. That was a cold one. Oh. Oh. oh my god, it's cold. I haven't put my coat on yet. Oh. The camera's probably gonna freeze pretty quickly. Oh boy. Oh, I gotta put this down. Get, get my coat. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! My coat is frozen. Everything is frozen. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, do the dance, oh, the freezing my butt off dance. Uh, I wanted to show you the thermometer before it warmed up. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but I gotta give it a try anyway. But it's right here, so you can see that. And it says, I think about, about 18 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll take a picture with the cell phone because uh, it can do close-ups better. The disadvantages of camping in the winter, uh, it's damn cold. I think that's the biggest one. Everything's cold. Um, these gloves, they're, they're frozen solid. Uh, I can't use them. I can't even get into them. So, wait for them to thaw out. Well, here's the situation right now. In a nutshell, everything is frozen. Um, I wanted to film breakfast, but my camera froze. All the batteries are frozen. I've tried... Uh, using the charger and it doesn't seem to want to work when it's frozen i've tried the solar panels and although the light goes on i don't really know if it's charging so in all my previous camping in in the winter uh times there's one thing i've never had to deal with and that was technology um Today's cameras, it seems a lot of them are just not made for sub-freezing temperatures. Um, and I'm, I'm fighting just to keep this camera going. I don't think I'm going to have enough battery to even complete my video. So, uh, I'm not quite sure what to do. My water did start to freeze overnight. Um, so, I did get the, uh, the stove going. I could put some hot water and that'll help a little bit. Uh, my tent is froze, the outside of my sleeping bag is froze, you can even see I'm, I'm frozen, I'm wearing, uh, I've got some heat pads inside my, my, uh, mittens because my hands were too cold. Um, it's a little bit miserable, to be honest with you, so I'm gonna have to think about it. Oh, and some advice. If you're thinking of camping in the winter time in a confined tent, never ever buy vegetarian dehydrated three cheese lasagna and then go to sleep or at least go to bed. Don't have it as your last meal because, oh my God, I don't know which of the three cheeses were the worst 
but I was cutting cheese all night, and oh, it stunk. And the worst part of that is I'm sleeping in a mummy bag, a mummy sleeping bag. And so you're in a mummy sleeping bag, and you hear a noise, and you know it only has one path to get out of that sleeping bag, and that's right by your nose. It's like, oh, it stunk. No more. No more dehydrated three cheese lasagna. Ever. Oh, thank God I didn't light a match. Oh, boy. Well, I got to make a decision. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a hike. I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to see if it gets a little bit warmer or if I have to pack it in and hike back into the car. Now, some white might wonder, you know, why bother? Why bother freezing your butt off? in the middle of winter. When you could be somewhere warm. Because I like it. Because I, I guess the answer is, because I can. You know, being one with nature, I think once it's in your blood, it's it's there forever and uh, there'll be a time when I'll be probably a little more frail just can't get around like I used to that uh, I can't get out here anymore so why not get out here now and enjoy it why do what everybody else does be different. Dare to be different. Dare to try things different. Find your limits. Test yourself. And enjoy life.